In Pop-Up Ally Pro, we have created templates so that you can easily add an opt-in to a sidebar. A sidebar or widget is usually shown beside your main content and generally have a narrow width. We have another video showing you how to enable a widget, but there's a lot of flexibility in the placement of widgets. And depending on your theme, you might be able to put widget at the bottom of the page or at the very top. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an opt-in to a narrow widget area. So I'm going to name this the sidebar opt-in. And when I open in display settings, I'm going to enable it as an embedded opt-in and the placement will be using the pop-up ally pro widget. The next two options you can leave as the default and we will enable for all pages. The show pop-up every X day setting is not going to be meaningful in this case. And to set up the thank you page, please take a look at our video tutorials for your specific email marketing platform. Now we can take a look at style settings. First, we will paste in the signup HTML code from your email marketing platform. Once we have pasted in the opt-in form, we can select the template. For this template, it's called a sidebar sidekick, and the template is designed to fit into narrow width. It has four elements, the headline text, which you can customize by going to the headline element. You can change the text here. And the next part is very important. We want to make sure that the name and email inputs gets linked to the appropriate field for your email marketing platform. So when you open the name input, we will select the form field to be the name field. And for the email input, we will select the corresponding email field, just like in the case of the name input. Once this is done, we can save the changes. After we have configured the style and display settings for pop-up number three, we now we want to add the widget to the sidebar. To do so, we'll go to appearance, widgets. And here we can drag and drop the pop-up ally embedded signup into the widget. And for the pop-up ID, we will enter pop-up number three. Once this is done, we can click save. Now we can take a look at it on the front end. Once we have refreshed the front page, you can see that the embedded opt-in has been added. Now you can adjust the width of the opt-in so that it will fill in the entire width of the sidebar. To do so, we'll go back to pop-up ally pro style settings and under pop-up options, we can adjust the pop-up width. Here the width is quite narrow and it's only set to 200. Depending on how wide your sidebar is, you can adjust the pop-up width accordingly. In this case, I will set it to 320 pixels. The advantage of this template is that the width for the elements, headline, the two inputs and the submit button are all relative. They're all going to stretch to fit in the pop-up width. So you do not need to do any additional customization besides setting the pop-up box size. Once this is done, we can save the changes. And once we refresh the front end, you can see that the opt-in fills in the entire sidebar. And of course, it's always a good idea to test the opt-in with your information to make sure that it's correctly connected to your email marketing platform. And that's how to add a embedded opt-in through widgets.